Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha and I'm currently 23 weeks pregnant. I've had some people asking me for updates or vlogs about the baby and ultrasounds and all that. And we just really haven't been doing that just because um, all the doctors we've gone to haven't allowed filming in their offices. And I know there's lots of videos of people like videotaping their appointments and stuff on YouTube, but I really don't know where they go because every time I've really ever gone to a room where they have like the ultrasound machine, they always say like no filming in there. Honestly, even if there was filming in there, I'm not sure we still would film it because it's kind of like a private moment between us, but I am happy to share with you um, the ultrasound results that we had at our last 20 week anatomy scan. If you don't know what that is, it's really like the big ultrasound that they do around 20 weeks where they just check everything about the baby. It takes a really long time. It takes like 45 minutes to do the entire scan, usually longer if your baby's not cooperating because they just need to check so many things. They're basically just like going through body parts. So they're just like, okay, I wanna check the brain, the stomach, the kidneys, the arms, the legs, the feet, like literally any body part you can think of they're, they're checking it on the scan. They can check like the blood flow and they can measure things with like their little measuring tool to kind of like get estimates on where the baby is and where they're supposed to be and all of that. At this last place we went here in Alaska, they were really nice. Uh, they actually printed out ultrasound photos for us, which we didn't have at our old place in Virginia because um, whenever we would have an ultrasound, they would kind of would just text us the pictures that they got, which was great because we had like every single photo they took, but um, I didn't have like the printed out like ultrasound photos that everybody always gets and I kind of wanted them and so now we have those. And they also gave us like an entire DVD of the whole ultrasound. It was an extra charge, it was like five dollars, but still it was really cool because we now have, I think it's like 38 minutes of footage of our baby. And I just think it's so much better to have the video because you can really understand what you're looking at way more when there's a video instead of just a photo. I now understand why when I look at other people's ultrasounds of their babies, I'm like, I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking at here. But when I look at my ultrasounds, I'm like, whoa, I know exactly like this is the foot, this is the hand because I was there. I saw it on the screen. I saw her kicking her foot. So I know that's her foot. And so I just think it's a lot easier to see everything with the with the video. And now now I'm getting better at actually looking at ultrasounds and understanding what they look like. But before before that, I you know you'd look at ultrasound and I'd be like I don't know what I'm looking at. So I just thought I would go through the appointment a little bit and go through the footage a little bit if you guys are interested in any of that. So first things first, I checked the heartbeat, which was about 150 beats per minute. Sometimes people are like, why is the heart rate so fast? And that's just a completely normal heart rate for a baby. I think the normal range is anywhere between 120 and 160, and it can be higher or lower depending on where you are in your pregnancy, like what week you are at. And, but anyway, 150 was like totally within their range. They thought it was totally normal. I think it was actually 151 when they first measured it. And then later in the appointment, it was 150. The heart rate can change. Like it can go up and down like five beats per minute, you know, frequently. So it's just like our heart rate, except for it's like twice as fast. They verified that she was a baby girl. Um, we found out she was a girl at the blood test that we had when I was nine weeks pregnant. Um, they can just tell all that from my blood. And it's like, it's like 99 point whatever percent accurate. So like, we were pretty sure she was a girl, um, but you know, they checked the parts and everything and they verified that, so she is indeed a girl. <laughs> you know, you always hear stories where it can still be wrong after they even like look at on the ultrasound. And of course it's always a possibility, but like pretty sure she's a girl at this point. They checked my ovaries, they checked the placenta, they checked my cervix. I'm not exactly sure what they were looking at on all of those things, but they said they looked fine. <laughs> Another thing that they did on the ultrasound is they were trying to get the measurements of like the bones in her legs. Um, when they were trying to do this, her legs were actually crossed. So you can see that in the video a little bit. And then when they were looking at her feet, her ankles were crossed. So like they had to make sure like this one is the right foot, this one's the left foot because they're like crossed over and she had her feet like that for a little while. The other thing that was slightly difficult was that her hands were up by her face like almost the entire time. She had them like covering her eyes or something 
and she kept turning her head like just completely away from everything so we like could not get a really good face shot most of the time uh, which was really funny because I was just like she just she doesn't want to have anything to do with this she just like wants to do whatever she wants and <laughs> stop and she wants us to stop bothering her um, with this ultrasound. I include this video of the part where they measured her head. I just thought that that was kind of cool how they can like measure the circumference there. But they also measured plenty of other things in the head. I'm not going to go through every single thing that they measured because it was a lot. After they got all of the measurements like the feet and the head and I think that was mainly what they measured. They might have measured like something on the spine also. I'm not, I'm not, I don't really remember. But once they got all of their measurements, they determined that she was in the 70th percentile um, for her size, for being 20 weeks, five days, or whatever I was whenever I had that appointment. And um, that's just completely in the normal range. Like, you can be anywhere from like the 5th to the 95th percentile, and like, that's all considered normal. So she just explained it's a really big range and 70th percentile is like perfectly within the regular range. So the funnest part of the ultrasound for me was we could see her like legs kicking and Gray was like, hey, can you feel her kicking? Cause we can see her kicking. And I was like, no, I, I can't really feel that. And the ultrasound tech was like, yeah, like these aren't like really hard kicks or anything. And then later she did like a really hard kick and I could see it at the same time that I felt it. And so I thought that that was really cool. And then there was another point in the ultrasound where she was kind of curled up into a ball and then she like pushed up with her hands and down with her feet kind of at the same time. And like that kind of felt like a stretching feeling and it was just really interesting to be able to see it on the screen and also feel it. So now I kind of like, know what I'm feeling a lot more. Now she's gotten way bigger, so I can definitely tell when she's kicking me. But um, it's it was really interesting to like distinguish between like the kicks and the stretching. And I could like kind of tell what the difference was because I saw her do it and I felt it. So this is a good video of her back and you can really see in this video how her head is just like turned completely away hands up by her face. So later in the ultrasound, uh, the tech was like really trying to get us a profile shot of the baby. Um, so she had me lay on my side, um, turned away from the screens. I couldn't really see as well, um, but I could kind of turn my head over. So Gray would tell me when there was something interesting going on on the screen. We were still trying to get the profile shot of her head, but she still had her hands up by her face. <laughs> so like the hand was like interfering with the face. So like whenever we would take the picture, like you wouldn't really understand what you were looking at because like the hand was mixing in with the face. I personally didn't care too much to have the to have the profile shot. I mean, I think that they got everything that they needed. They just didn't really get a good picture. Um, I just kind of felt like maybe we should stop bothering her, but also I kind of did want the profile shot. So anyway, um, we eventually did. Um, she had, you, you can see in the video, she had her hands up by her face. And then like the second she moved them away, that's when she snapped the picture real quick. So you can still see like the hand um, off to the side in the picture because she just moved them out of the way. And so yeah, that's pretty much like the highlights of the ultrasound. It was really fun to be able to see our baby for that long and to get all the measurements and kind of just put our mind at ease that everything was looking healthy and good with our baby. After the ultrasound, I met with my midwife for a little while and that was also fine. But it's a little bit stressful right now. As you guys know, we moved from Virginia to Alaska, so obviously we had to switch providers for the pregnancy. And right now, um, we don't really know exactly what we're going to do because um, the office that we ended up going to here in Alaska is shutting down before my due date, so we can't keep going there. Um, so we might follow the midwife that we had to a new place that she's moving, or we might just go to a completely new place with a completely new person. So we're just trying to figure that all out right now and it just kind of feels like a lot because you know I'm 23 weeks and I still am not sure who is going to be the person that's going to deliver my baby or I know like sometimes things can happen and it might not be the person you originally picked but I don't even know like who the main person is that is going to be helping with the pregnancy and it's fine like everything's been going well but I just kind of want to like settle down with one person so that like you know, when they see me every time, they can see how things are progressing. And I kind of feel like I've been switching from person to person and no one has anything to go off of except for like the doctor's notes and they haven't 
really seen me, which is a little bit annoying, but you know, everything has been going great with the pregnancy. So it's really good that that's going well because if there were a lot of complications, like that would make this even worse, but it's really fine. When we were in Virginia, it didn't really matter which doctor we went to because we knew we were not going to be staying with that doctor for the entire pregnancy. And now it's kind of like, oh, we wanna really make sure that we find a doctor that works well with us and it's just gonna be a good fit. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video um, of all of these moments from our 20 week anatomy scan. Let me know if there are any other videos you would like to see next. I have some more cancer related videos coming up soon and other pregnancy related videos, of course. Um, check out my vlog channel with my husband if you're interested in those kinds of videos. I just uploaded the ski footage that we took when uh, we were on a ski trip in March. So if you're interested in that, go check that out and subscribe if you want. Yeah. That's all. Bye.